بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن وله أما بعد This is our 16th lesson going through the book تلخيص فقه الفضائض وفضل الشيخ بن عثيمين رحمه الله تعالى We have arrived at the chapter pertaining to الرد In a previous lesson we spoke about مسألة العول And we define the مسألة العول to be زيادة في أصل المسألة ونقص في, الـ في الأسهم right? And so what the, the common example that's given is let's say somebody left behind a woman or somebody died and they left behind a a uh, a husband so a woman died and she left behind her husband and she left behind uh, two full sisters then in this case the inheritance will be the husband gets a half right and the two full sisters share between them a thuluthan but when you add one half plus two thirds it's more than one right and so how do we deal with this? We deal with this by coming with Mas'alat Al-Awl. Al-Rad, which we're going to speak about in this lesson. We spoke about Mas'alat Al-Awl in the previous lesson, so we return back to that for more detail of how we perform that that uh, that, that uh, calculation. As for Al-Rad, Al-Rad is the opposite. It's the opposite. I.e. نَقْصٌ فِي أَصْلِ الْمَسْأَلَةِ ثُمَّ الزِّيَارَةٌ فِي الْأَسْهُمْ And so we have a, a case where the fractions when you add them up, they equal less than one. So in the awl, it's more than one. In here, it's less than one. What do we do with this remainder? And with the uh, with the rad, there's an extension or an extended point, which is when there is no asib. Because if there is an asib, he gets the rest of the money. But there is no asib in this case. طيب. There is no asib bin nafs or asib bin ghayr or asib al ghayr. None of that. Rather, for example, bin mithal al let's say somebody left behind a daughter. The daughter gets a half, but a half plus zero is equal to a half. It's less than one. What do we do with the remaining half? There's still a half of the inheritance left. What do we do with this? As for us, the Shafi'iya, the method that we follow in our country and in and our people, then Arad, what we say with regards to it, this money is given to the treasury. This money, this remaining money, it's given to the treasury. And so we don't have the opinion or the madhab. And this is one of the few issues where there is khilaf among the madahib when it comes to Kitab al Fara'id or the chapters pertaining to Fara'id. This is one of the one of the issues of, of difference. And so the Shafi'iyya, and I also believe the Malikiyya as well are like this, is that la birrad. They say we don't we don't say rad. Rather, anything that remains and there is no asib, like an example we gave in the case of the a man who left behind his daughter, her half is what she gets, and the remaining half it's given to the Bayti Mal al Muslimin. It's given to the treasury and it's given to the state. The state takes it. However, as Ibn Uthaymin rahimahullah ta'ala is not a Shafi'i, nor is he a Maliki, rather he's a Hanbali, and the Hanabila yaquluna birrad. The Hanabila, they view and they take the opinion of Arrad. And as we know, because we are studying his book, there is no point in us skipping of what the author rahimahullah ta'ala said, even if we uh, as Shafi'iyya may not agree or may not follow this view. However, because we're studying this book and we're benefiting from this book, it's important that we highlight what the author Rahimahullah Ta'ala says. And so the first point the author Rahimahullah Ta'ala gives is that he defines a rad. He says a rad who ma yabqa ba'd al ila ashabiha idha lam yakun asiban. Is the attribution of that which remains after the furud has been dished out and has been given out and returning it back to its people, its ashab, i.e. ashab al If there is no asib, if there was an asib, then he gets the remainder, right? But this remainder, if there is no asib, then it's given back to the ashab al And it's given back in a number of ways. So the author, rahimahullah ta'ala, he said, فَيُرَدُّ عَلَى كُلِّ ذِي فَرْضٍ بِقَدْرِ فَرْضِهِ إِلَّا الزَّوْجَيْنِ فَلَا يُرَدُّ عَلَيْهِمَا And so this rad, this returning, it's only done for those who are min ashab al furud illa al zawjain. So that's the first point. So the rad, it's not for all of ashab al furud. Remember, we mentioned ashab al furudi, ashara, right? We took it in a set of lessons and we took them in, in sets of two, right? So we took the zawjain, the grandparents, uh, we, we mentioned the tafsir of regards to the grandparents, we spoke about the parents as well, we spoke about the siblings, right? And we spoke about the uh, banat, the daughters and banat al ibn. Right, so those five sets of two gives you ten. Sahih? So all of these categories of Ashab al except for Az-Zawjain, 
except for the two spouses, i.e. Zawj and Zawjah, they don't get a Rad. So the Rad is not applied to them. The Rad applies only to the others from Ashab al Furud, from the other four categories, like the father and the mother, the grandfather and the, gr and the grandmother, of course, the paternal grandmother, of course. Likewise, the siblings and the uh, نعم, likewise the siblings and what was the other the category remain? نعم, the daughter and the banat and banat libid. نعم. And so these أصحاب الفروض they get the رد إلا الزوجين فلا يرد عليهما the زوجين you don't return back to them. So if there is, مثلا somebody who left behind a a uh, a wife, then the wife gets her fourth. As for the remaining money, it's not returned back to back to her. So the author رحمه الله تعالى he said فإن كان المردود عليه واحدا أخذ المال جميعه فرضا وردا So the, the first case is the one who is the money is being returned to him is a singular and the example we gave for that is the daughter مثلا let's say somebody died and left behind a daughter the daughter gets her فرض which is a half as for the remaining half according to the Hanabil and according to, according to the Sheikh رحمه الله it's returned back to her and so she gets all of the money she gets all of the money. Then the author of Allah Ta'ala, he said, وَإِنْ كَانُوا جَمَاعَةً مِنْ جِنْسٍ وَاحِدٍ أَخَذُوا جَمِيعَ الْمَالِ فَرْضًا وَرَدًّا بِعَادَةِ رُؤُسِهِمْ And likewise, if you have a group of individuals from the same category, for example, you don't have one daughter, but you have two daughters, or you have three daughters, then in this case, each of them, they take all of the wealth, فَرْضًا وَرَدًّا بِعَادَةِ رُؤُسِهِمْ And so in the case of uh, the banat if somebody left behind banat more than one daughter then what do they get they get a thuluthan right two thirds صحيح? and so what happens here let's say I left behind a uh, I left behind three daughters I left behind three daughters and the wealth that I have is six pounds so I left behind six pounds and three daughters the asal is that these daughters because they're more than one they get a thuluthan they get two thirds صحيح? and so that's what they get by way of fard Two thirds. So two thirds of six is what? It's four, right? And so four pounds out of the six pounds is given to them by your fard. What remains is two pounds. This two pounds is given back to them and it's divided among them equally. So this two pounds that remains, it's given back to them, these three daughters, and they share share that they share that between them equally. Now then Yuthar Rahimallah Ta'ala he said, Wain kanu jamaata min ajnasin. قسم المال بينهم من أصل من أصل ستة وتنتهي بما تنتهي به فروضهم. طيب. What about if we have a number of different categories? We have a group of individuals from different categories. So it's no longer just a set of daughters, but you now have a uh, مثلا you now have a mother with a daughter or you have a mother with a sister. Uh, how do we deal with that? And the author رحمه الله تعالى gives examples. For each of these cases. But before that, he then mentions another point, which is what about when we factor in the, the spouses? Because remember, he said the spouse, لا يرد عليهم. So we have to factor that in as well. And so, how do we do with that? The author of Allah he said, وَإِنْ كَانَ مَعْهُمْ أَحَدُ الزَّوْجَيْنِ أُعْطِيَ فَرْضُهُ مِنْ غَيْرِ زِيَادَةٍ ثُمَّ قُسِّمَ الْبَاقِيَ بَيْنَ الْمَرْدُودِ عَلَيْهِمْ عَلَى مَا سَبَقَ And if we have with them either one of the spouse, then each one is given their fard. So if we have a case, I'm going to mention examples for it, where the spouse is also there. طيب, along with a jama'ah from different ajnas, then the first thing we do is we perform our which the Messenger of Allah وسلم, he said, al al We divide between them each what, what each person gets by of their fard. And then after that, we see what remains. And whatever remains, we return it back to those who are going to be deserving of it, uh, the money being returned to them or the rad occurring to them by way of what their fard necessitates. طيب, uh, and of course, in this case, we will exclude the the spouse because the spouse لَا يَرَدُّ عَلَيْهِ let's mention all of these concepts that we mentioned with uh, examples فَبِالْمِثَالِ يَتَّضِحْ الْمَقَالِ the first point the author رحمه الله تعالى mentioned فَإِنْ كَانَ الْمَرْدُودُ عَلَيْهِ وَاحِدًا I believe this one is, is quite clear for example let's say somebody left behind a daughter and she gets all of the money half by way of fard and the other half by way of الرد that's the first example or the first category the second is if you have a group of individuals from one jins, from one category. And so let's say somebody died and they left behind three daughters. And so in this case, 
they share between them the entire wealth. Two thirds by way of fard, and the remaining they share it by way of arad. And this rad is divided between them equally. Now, depending upon how many of them are, as the author Rahimahullah wa ta'ala he said, maqsuman ala thnaini aada dar usihima. Tayyib. Then the author Rahimahullah wa ta'ala he said, and we mentioned an example for that. It said, let's say I left behind uh, six pounds with three daughters. They get two thirds between them, which is four pounds, and the remaining two pounds we share it between them equally. And that's the rad. As for إذا كان مردود عليهم جماعة من أجناس And so we have now those who the money is going to be returned back to them i.e. that without which remains this rad and they are a group of people from different categories for example let's say somebody died and they left behind a daughter and they left behind a daughter uh, his son's daughter and he left behind a mother and so we have three sets of أصحاب الفروض and each of these sets are different categories right the daughter is different to the son's daughter it's different to the mother and so in this case what we do is we treat the mas'ala from six and so we treat the lowest common multiple or denominator between these three is going to be six and so when we look at asalatan by way of fard in this case let's put rad to one side and let's just discuss it from a fard perspective we know the daughter gets a half the son's daughter gets uh, right? She gets a sixth to complete the two thirds, and the mother gets the remaining sixth, right? When you add them up, it does it equals less than one. There's still a sixth missing, right? Two thirds plus a sixth plus a sixth, right? Is not, uh, oh, sorry, a half plus a half plus a sixth plus a sixth is not uh, six sixths, rather, it's five sixths. So, hey, so there's a sixth missing to get to one. And so, because of this problem, we come and we do arrad. And so we treat the mas'ala as five. And so instead of the daughter getting a half, she gets three fifths. And instead of the mother getting a sixth, she gets one fifth. And instead of the daughter, the son's daughter getting uh, a sixth as well, she gets one fifth. And so now you have three fifths plus one fifth plus one fifth equals five fifths, and that's one. That's how we deal with it. So we perform the rad, the calculation which is generally done, as it is, ala sitta. And we divide the mas'ala upon six, upon a sixth. That's how we do with it. And that's the easiest way of doing it. And then you see what is the missing amount, and you perform the relevant calculations to get the right amount by bumping up the ashum of each of these individuals to get back to, to get back to one. That's how we deal with it. Because yani, in the other cases, or the prior previous cases we don't really need to do that calculation because it's quite yani, easy to see but when it comes to different categories it becomes a bit more difficult to see so you, so you perform this step-by-step -step calculation and things will become clear in the ta'ala the final example is to incorporate one of the two spouses let's say somebody died and he left behind a wife a mother and his brother from his mother's side the wife gets a fourth by of fard, and that's it she does not have any portion of rat as we mentioned in the principle that we highlighted earlier. As for the mother, then by fard, she gets a third, right? And as for the brother from the mother's side, by fard, he gets a sixth. But what remains when we add a fourth, a third, and a sixth is a quarter, right? Because a fourth plus a third plus a sixth is equal to three quarters. And so what remains for us to reach one is one quarter. How do we divide this one quarter up between the mother and the brother from the mother's side? We realize that a third is what the mother gets and a sixth is what the brother from the mother's side gets so it's double right and so we say that the mother has two portions two as whom and the brother from the mother's side has one se. and so we do two plus one is equal to three and so we do two thirds times a quarter to get what the mother gets as way of rad and two thirds or one third times a quarter for what the brother from the mother's side gets and so the mother will get a sixth added onto her third which will equal a half as for the brother on the mother's side, he will get a sixth, which is by way of fard, and then his third multiplied by a quarter, which is one twelfth, and so one twelfth plus one sixth will be a quarter. And so we can sum up the entire uh, sum, up, sum up the problem by saying the wife gets a fourth, the brother from the mother's side also gets a fourth, and the mother gets a half 
and that is how we would divide up this مسألة uh, incorporating مسألة الرد incorporating the issue of الرد هذا والله أعلم مصطفى بإذن الله سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته